George. What's up? Can you just... Yo, Frankie, I might, I might have meta actually. Why? Cause Tesla pushed. Meta push, bro. I mean, oh, yeah. like you said though, I don't want to take meta off the open though. Uh, like you said, I do want to see the divergence like we did with yeah. yesterday, and I don't want to change that. What do you have, Nor? Um, give me a sec. It should be live, right? I got the notification for it, yeah. Alright, um, I was looking at meta. It's literally the only green thing here this morning. I like when I see strength like that. Yeah, I like it too, but I don't know. I want to... It's FOMC day, so like, we're on a 14-day win streak, which if you haven't been here for the last 14 days, the rest of the chat can attest to. Um... So just keep that in mind. So we're not going to mess that up just because it's free day in the chat and there's zero delay today, you know. Also, it's not FOMC. It's uh, J Powell talking. So I will. Yeah, I count him as the whole FOMC. He owns FOMC, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. I'm not taking that. Absolutely yeah, not. Either. That's not something we're here for. But it is something we were looking at. That's why I was looking at meta. Rest in peace, that. Yeah. This contract's yeah, moved a whole dollar. Yeah. <clears throat> I was kind of intended to take that red to green, but I was like, nah. Was it wasn't enough plan. for me. I wanted to see it, like... Yeah, I wanted to just hold out a little bit more. That red to green happened too fast. I'll probably just have Tesla pulled up here if it comes back. Uh, I'm going to see if there's anything on meta. Anything else? No, there isn't really. 503. Jeez. Yo, this thing is wild. Yeah. Meta's at a 30-minute uptrend right now. Yeah, that was my target on it. That That's, uh, and it's doing that while uh, the market, it's uh, still kind of pulling back here. Yeah, I'm okay with missing out. Like I said, it's, it's yeah. just one day here. If we have to, we have to. Jay, yeah, it's too it's too early to tell if anything's moving separate from the market. We're only one minute in, so we don't have enough information. So, guys, Meta was sick. It gave us 0.5 milliseconds from market open. <laughs> What's Apple, What's Apple doing? doing? Oh, nothing. 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 Zero delay Zero. today, by the way, on stream. Might as well be in the Discord as well. Free as well. George, so you really wouldn't touch Apple at 168? Um, no, nah, I mean, I would. It doesn't look bad, but I think those are one of those that I want to see a hold below, at least at, at uh, 168.20. Below that, if I start seeing it hold below... While ES is kind of pumping or just weaker than ES, then I, I'll I'll like it more there. But other than that, if it's just straight down or moving with the market, I don't want I don't want to touch it at all. It's looking weak right now from it, so that's why I'm liking it so far. Mm -hmm. Doing the opposite of ES, so that's why I brought it up. Oh, let me see. we do have PMI composite final. And do I have an echo on my end or no? Yeah, I heard something. Yeah, there was like a whistle sound or something. It's not there anymore, but... Meta kind of seems like it's doing its own thing. A little bit. 
hard to tell though. I knew today would be like this. Yeah, Frankie's Apple starting to, to look a little bit weaker here, but it's, it's still not enough. We'll see what happens once we actually start seeing a drop here. It's what I'm currently hovering right now. I do like it, but yeah, like I said, yeah. I need I need just a little bit more information to see what this is doing with the, the Discord market. is free, guys. Is yeah, free. I'm hovering over that as well at the moment. There's nothing else really close, anyways. Mm -mm. Yo, Tesla's just wow. <clears throat> I just don't know what to do with Tesla there, you know? It's in a weird area. Um... I think I'm testing not till 168, huh? If, if that. I like the downside more on Tesla. Yes, I'm personally yeah. not touching Tesla anywhere to the upside. Yeah. I'm strictly waiting for the downside on that. So we get a reversal here on this, ahead of everything else. Damn. I scalped that 503 break on Meta. That was like a nice 10% little quick play. Okay, then. Nvidia has a, a nice setup. It's just the fact that it's on a day like this, but um, put put that on the five minute eight ninety two fifty would be a decent scout. But that's not something I would be. That's not something I would be looking to play on a day like this. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about, Frank. Like, now it's showing a lot of uh, strength now on Apple. Mm -hmm. Starting to catch up now, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys like that Disney setup I sent? I personally don't trade Disney, so. After Nora roasted me for trading Disney, I just don't even want to look at that stock, bro. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, facts, bro. I remember what he said to, the, to you. <laughs> bro, I, I looked at it this morning. I remember what he said. And I was like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very open to it being a cash day. Especially being on a streak. We're not going to mess it up, like I said. Just because, you know, we feel like we need to trade today. We don't. And Powell is speaking. So if something does come... We'll take it. If not, we'll uh, we'll sit the sideline. Yo, watch Nvidia for screen time. I'm not gonna play it, but 892.50 is what I was looking at. Let's see if it's like worth it on a day like this. 892.50 is what you would have played. Yeah, I would have got in 892.30. Yeah, there it goes. A dollar break. Just for the scalp. That's decent. What's your reasoning behind it? Just the pre-market high? Not. Nah. With that one-minute trend? or it's a, it's a five minute flat top. Five minute flat top. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just a dollar scout. So NVIDIA just rose above VWAP. We don't <laughs> talk about things that don't matter in the chat. And... Something that doesn't matter is VWAP. Yeah, the hell is a VWAP, man? Nora, how long did it take you to get that um, LED sign from those people? Like the stock hours one? 
a week. Yeah, it says mine comes tomorrow, bro. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, it's fast. And and it would have been quicker if I didn't have to go back and forth to get that picture. So you got the final picture with Eddie. It just took me yeah, like, so like an extra 48 hours to get the correct um, like file. Yeah, yeah. Let me see how... Uh, I think test... Well, we'll see. Oh, yo, look at meta. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Saw that too. Wow. That pullback hurt. <laughs> you tried to play that high? Sheesh. Yo, you got smoked, bro. $4 pullback on meta? That's funny. Holy. <laughs> Remember, um, like that. Uh, if you're using a lagging indicator... You're a lagging trader, and nobody wants to be anything lagging. So, if you're using any of these indicators, that means you're a lagging trader because you're using a lagging indicator. These are all lagging indicators. Just keep that in mind. That's like racing someone and starting five minutes after him. <clears throat> Tasha asks, which ones are lagging indicators? All of them. All of them. Your best indicator are the market indexes and the price action shown in front of you. So volume, level two, type in sales. SMCI. That's all real time. I like SMCI at 950, but we ain't not getting that today. So you never know. That's stock, bro. Huh? Hmm? We could push up to a thousand and come all the way back down to nine fifty with that thing. I haven't seen it done anything crazy recently. Yeah, I've been happy to stay away from that. <laughs> Facts. Yo, those mornings were stressful trading this stock. Yo, no lie. Let's see what Tesla does here. This is looking like it's doing its own thing while like in Q and ES were slightly pushing. I'm not interested until 162, though, personally. Yeah. No, same here, but that's really, like, the only thing that's anywhere remotely close. <laughs> Other than that, I'm with Nora here. I wouldn't mind staying cash. Yeah, I'm, I've, I said it yesterday. I'm not messing up my, my, you know, stream or streak for, you know, just rushing the trade here. Yo, is the stream fine? Is anybody listening to me on stream? Like, can you hear my voice? No diddy? No, pause, bro. Not too low, right? Turn up your mic volume. I can't do that right now, brother. Another day. I gotta open up shore right now. As long as we can hear me and it sounds good. So it said 15 second delay on the Twitch. Yeah, that's just Twitch being delayed. I have zero delay on my end, so doing what Twitch I can. Will always, yeah, live streaming will always be like You won't ever get live streaming like real, real time. That's why if you're in the Discord, that's a zero second delay. Yo, Nor, I, I don't know if you kept the uh, disclaimer up that there's a delay on there, even though you're doing it real time. But you may want to throw up a disclaimer that Twitch, like, even though you're doing it real time, Twitch always has a small delay, just in case. Either no, way, I, I don't have to do I, that. That's Twitch. Well, I'm I'm saying, I know you don't have to, but just. Oh, oh, for the people? Yeah, for the people. Honestly, I mean, if they're, if they're actually trading, they would see that the stock price is a different price than mine. 
if if there is a delay. You would so. think. That's you would fault. think. I mean, I'm... oh no, no, that I'm not here to you know fix the the mental state of traders. You know what I mean. So if they're herbs, they'll stay herbs for the rest of their lives. I can't fix that. You know, they have to. They gotta think a little. Well, yeah, I mean, well, watch Tesla even... right here. What happened? So watch Tesla here starting to do what I wanted to do. I see the whole the opening price. You don't like Nvidia? Let me see. Oh wait, never mind. It, it kind of bounced. I'll switch over to Tesla with you. Let me take a look. Where are you looking? It's still like this? I, I still it's still far away, but like it's finally getting weaker here in the market. Hell now yeah. I just want to. That's a 162. We like it, Nor. Yeah, 162. Oh, it says how many views. Like, I put it at the top of the stream now. That's cool. All right. Um, How are we feeling about Tesla? I'm still far. But, I mean, far for who exactly? For me. I don't know about you, but it's far for me. I'm not playing this pre-market low, just FYI. I'm, I'm still waiting here. Is there a trend? For the members. Yeah, there I'm is. right with you. You just got to be very specific. It is Herb Day, so... Again, it is looking like a, the, the cleaner or closest setup here. At least on my end. But still not ready just yet. Okay, then. Chat doesn't feel as amazing sometimes. Did PMI just come out? Wasn't PMI supposed to come out at 9.15? Or 9.45? Yeah, 9.45. Final. There's a ISM something at a 10. Damn, market did nothing with that. Nothing. Yo, chat. Nor, or, yo, chat. Um, are you guys also in the Discord or you're just enjoying the streams? Remember, if you're not in the Discord, Discord is free today, so you get all the perks. Who are you liking on uh, NVIDIA, Norm? Um, and you can come to the lesson tonight. What did you say, George? What were you liking on NVIDIA? Um, I liked 883. Okay. If we would continue the weakness. I'm with you on Tesla, though. These contracts are a little tricky because the 160s are pretty cheap, but. They'll be like 200 by the time, like two, a little bit more than 200, I think, by the time we play it. Possibly, yeah. I can work. Now, we don't want to be too late and we don't want to be too early. So what we're going to look at here Uh, I'm guessing you guys are looking at 162, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So, I would play that 163 break. The only problem is we have, we have a trend here at 163.45. So, what I might do is take a half position if we're super weak against the market before 162. Um, but I'm not going to trade it at the low of day. So I'm, that doesn't mean I'm getting in at 163, 
45, I believe that's the low of the day, or pre-market low. I'll pass on that. The low from yesterday, market hours, was 163.40. Yeah, it's, it's lining up right there. So I would at least need 163 as confirmation for like a half entry. If you put it on the 15 minute, that's uh, yeah, that's it's pretty nice. much where they're. Oh, yeah, it looks nice right there, 163. I should have liked that no a lot. I like that it's under that one minute trend as well. Yeah, we just need to see what it does here. See if we can get this going. Yo, Chris, close that door. What's that, bro? Yeah, we're all quiet. There's nothing. I'm just looking at Tesla. What would I would take on it? Oh my god, I'm in this I got smoke. So 163.45 or 163 entry. I said I already said I'm not taking at 163.45. It would at least have to be 163 for me to take an entry. That doesn't mean that's my entry. I'll, I'll let you guys know, but that's kind of where I'm looking at. I'm looking at the 160 puts as well. Look at this pullback here already while well, market is not doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I had a we'll green red, so. Patience, patience. What's my target? Uh, I have room down to 160. <clears throat> Does it mean I'm gonna hold to 160? No. So guys, the plan as of right now is I have a half position ready to go. So that doesn't mean half your account means a half of the position I would have taken is ready to go as far as I don't know exactly where I'm going to enter at yet. I'm thinking of 163. I just have it typed out ready to go. So just have that prepared. Um, like you always want to have, you know, everything prepared. But right now for me, I'm prepared to take half position. Um, soon. Starting to slip a little bit. The only thing to make this better would be, I would like to see a, a push on ES up to 5262-ish area. Anywhere from that to 
and and Tesla still be down here. I have a possible rejection around that area on ES. Mm. <clears throat> Got it. Chat, what are you guys looking at? I said, don't see anything I would take. Okay. Ooh. Big. Oh, I like that. Yeah, look at this push in the market. Look at Tesla. Bro, exactly what I want to see. Another step right back in real quick. in there i'm probably looking to enter around 163320 morgan just had a red candle like right like right under that trend yeah <laughs> what's that trend on what time frame one minute it's a pre-market though i could care less oh here we go Dude, right on that trend. Yeah, just right, right enough, off that right? bounce. So I took Tesla on my own, um, but I, I already got out for a stop. I'll be ready to signal this when we get closer to 163.20. Like I said, that's where I would signal at. I tried it. Never got to entry though. 163.20 was the entry. Probably going to give the market another like 10 minutes here. SMC, I was dying. Sheesh. My stock is crazy, bro. I'm not touching that.
meta had that morning push, wasted our move, and then had our game down. Nice. The algo don't be missing sometimes. Hell yeah. SMCI. Wow. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That's the news. We just got news in the market. Yeah, what, what was, what, what was supposed to be coming out? I think ISM. Yeah, ISM. Alright. Tesla is at 165.40. I don't think I'm I'm willing to signal anything right now. Today might be a cash day for everyone. Yeah, look at the market. Golly. Look oh. at Apple. Apple's strong here too. I did try um, SMCI. I what did you try, try Tesla the video? Though, with you, Nor. What did no, you do? I tried it with you. I tried Tesla with you, so I took a loss on it too. Yeah, I took it All alone. Lost. Just said mm -hmm. I'll try it. I liked it at the 163.50 area with the wall there. Yo, Meta is kind of getting there. I saw that. I'm not sure if I like it, though. Yeah, I me mean, neither. Mm. There is a trend on the five minute. Leads it up to 505.50. Yeah. You know what's actually really strong? Obviously, Tesla, but... um. In the video, what are you gonna say? Yeah, the video is pretty strong. There is a downtrend on the five minute at eight ninety seven fifty nine. This actually looks pretty sick, but we'll wait a second. See how the market. Yo, wow, guys, look at this. So there's a one hour trend here. That PMI, ISM. <laughs> nah, I personally don't like Google here, boss man. I don't know about anybody else. So I'm good on that though. Yeah, I'm good on that too. I am good. At that level before pre market, and uh, you probably brought it up because. Uh, the level pre market looked decent, looked nice, and it did. Uh, I'm with uh, Benji on it. Uh, but at the moment, you can clearly tell it's behind. It's one of the stocks that I kind of want to see the momentum early on, not move with news like this. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm switching over to video. Just, just looking. Let's just see what happens here. That trend, who, did I send that trend yet? Yeah. That trend on the one hour. Let's see if we can get through that. It's at 898.46. And then 900 is a key level after that here. So we'll see how it reacts. What it does. It's breaking the 30 minute one right now, Laura. Yeah, the one hour is more important right now, though. I got to see. Yeah. <clears throat> Yo, the contracts are in the video are back to kind of normal here. Right? I was looking at like the 920s. They're like four or 500. 
that's 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 pretty good. We had we were buying like forty dollars out the money at one point, fifty dollars. All right, let's see what uh, ES does here. It it got to fifty two seventy two, the top of the that area that I mentioned earlier. Let's see if we're gonna get some more continuation. Or Nvidia gets ahead here. I'll I'll really like it here as well with you, North. Okay, it's holding up. Meta's holding up too. Just has that trend on the five minute. Microsoft. Getting getting to it here. We have a herb that played the news, guys. Yeah, we are getting closer. I would be looking at the 920 calls on NVIDIA. Where would I enter? It would have to be around that 899 break only because that trend here on the one hour, it looks like we're trying to break. It's at 8.98, um, and then the key level is 900. So I'm looking for a trend break into 900. It has to show me the right momentum for me to play this. This is a little overextended. Fuck. All right, let's see if we can get a pullback here. If we can get a pullback, that would be nice. Dude. You know what I'm going to do, um, George? What's that? So with NVIDIA, if we can get a pullback, that would be great. But if I take an entry, I'm going to take a half entry. My stop is going to be breakout level, which is 898. So we, we just got a big sell order here. I just saw a print here on the ask. It got executed on times and sales. So we got a sell order. So that's why you're getting this candle. Let's see if we start getting some buy orders. So if I take this, guys. Oh, wow. I'm going to look to take a half position at 899.70. And my stop is going to be 898. Target is 905. I'm in. 920 calls on NVIDIA. It's a little overextended. That's why I'm going in so much lighter. And my stop is very tight at 898. I could give it a little bit more room, which I might. But uh, we'll see in a second. But right now, as of right now, if I don't say anything, 898 is my stop. <clears throat> Bought right off of 898 right now, guys. Getting ready to sell, though, just in case. If we push here back above 899, I will add the other half. We bounced right off at 898. I don't know if that'll hold, but. There goes a big candle on the market here and then you get a pullback. <clears throat> I'm personally waiting for this candle to close just because 
uh, the market is dropping, but that's me taking that risk. How much time is left on this candle? About a second. All right, if we don't get above 898 here, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. <coughs> Half position. Some nice risk to reward there. First L in 14 days. That was up really nice when we got in. Those contracts jumped like 20 to almost 30 cents. Off the yeah, it was all right. I took a half on that size too right there. Yeah. I don't really care for win streaks. If win streaks happen, it's cool, but... Trading is literally risk to reward. Every day is a new day. So when the win streaks happen, it's cool. But half position, very small loss for me. Will I try this again? Yes. If we do get at 899.70, try the same level. I will try this one more time. And that's, that's that for NVIDIA. Huh. Yeah, that has to be the funniest comment. Someone said got lucky for 14 days. Yeah, I mean, as long as stock hours was lucky for 14 days straight with me, then I'm happy about it. I mean, you must have been lucky for like the last eight years, too. Shit. Yeah, I was blessed. Yeah, if you tried to play, look at this on the spot, this is ugly. All right. So took uh, L on NVIDIA half position. Um, I was planning to take another half above 900 at 901 as long as we hold, uh, held be above, but ended up pulling back, took a small L versus the reward I was expecting on that. So what was that? A three. So it's about a two and a half uh, to one reward to risk here. And, um, yeah, we have, what's his name today? Powell. First red signal in 14 days, so I'm happy that's over, honestly. You guys can get the real, you know, side of trading. It's not a Cinderella movie every day. No, nah, there's no pressure on the streak. The 
that's all for the no I, I don't know yet we might play nvidia again um but it has to show strength into 900 No, I'm good in meta. Because meta has that trend here on the 5 minute at like 505.50. It's just not enough room for me to like it. Alright, well, Spy is moving, bringing up NVIDIA, so we have to be careful here. Microsoft is breaking out. Or trying to, at least. SMCI trying to, has a breakout level above 991.76. That's not something I'm going to play with. <laughs> oh, man, the video. Any of the interns here? I'm watching this with you. Yeah, I'm uh, in I'm a meta trade, trade right now. I need to see some divergence on it first. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. So the ideal situation is... Uh, is we see a pullback in the market, NVIDIA at least holds up. It doesn't have to push, but it at least holds up. And then I would be interested to play it. Yo, if I'm not mistaken, NVIDIA was less than a 10% stop loss, right? Yeah, I think I took 5% on it. Yo, that was light. Was a light position too? Yeah, it was a half oh. position. That was pretty light. That's really equivalent, if you do the math, of a half position to half the percentage that you would have taken. So let's say it was a 10%, it actually is like a 5% with your full position, which is sick. I keep forgetting I was in with a light position. Um. um. SMCI. All right, so Nvidia is starting to show some signs. Not 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 the craziest signs, but we're holding up a little bit here. Alright, to make this clear, this is my last trade of the day 
on NVIDIA. We have Powell speaking later. I'm still looking to take a half position and only a half position. I'm willing to take another half at 901. So looking to take a half, basically where I purchased before, which is around 899.60. Um, if we break 900, cool. Um, I'm looking to add to the half before 901 or right around 901. And then target on that would be 903, then 905. So heads up. I'm in these. Half position again, guys. Last time trying it, if we break through 900, great. Cool. I'm looking to add at 901. If NVIDIA is too volatile for you, then it's not the stock that you should be playing. <clears throat> I'm in a light half position right now. All right, nice red. This is going to be it. Wow. There we go. All right, so now I'm looking to add at 901. Now we have to hold 900. That is the next key thing to do here. We have to hold 900. Watch the bid, watch the ask. If we have one of those BS um, rejections, I'm out of here 100%. I will not stick around. I'm going to actually set an alert. Just in case we have a fast flush here, I'll be very quick on the sell button. Let's see if this can be bought here. That's why I didn't buy again. So I'm waiting for 900 to hold here, and then I will be purchasing the other half. Wow. Oh, my days. I'm getting ready to buy another half here, guys. I'm in. have a resistance at 902.20. 901 should get us a big move up. A quick one, I should say. I shouldn't say big. But if we break 901, it should be a very quick move up. So if you're looking to get a quick scalp out of this, then that is your, your play. You're going to get a quick move if we break 901, guys. Does that mean we're going to break 901? No. It just means if we do break 901, it will be a quick move. So I'm hiring my stop, guys. I'm tr My trail stop now is no longer 898. It is 899. Here we go. Let's see if we can break 901. It's going to be tricky. There we go. See the quick move I was talking about? There it goes, guys. That's the play. Beautiful. Now, my first target is 903. It is a day where Powell is speaking. Is it smart to take profits? Yes. So if you have to take profits um, because you're in too heavy or whatever the case may be, then you, you have to maneuver. You guys have to learn. I know there's a lot of herbs here today, a lot of free members, so they don't really know how it works. But it's based on the risk you, you're, you can afford to take, not the risks nor trades can take, you know? So that's on you guys. Um, my trailing stop is 899. If we break 903, my trailing stop will be 950 cents. So as of right now, my trailing stop is still 899, meaning I will be slightly red if this does pull back. Here we go. Bought again. Let's see if 901 can hold on the bid. So my first target is 903. Um, 
That doesn't mean I need to hold till 903. Currently, you, you can make adjustments when you're in a trade, but I'm, I am planning to hold to at least 903 right now. There we go, 902 new high here. Let's see if we can break right through. Maki has resistance at 902, so keep that in mind also. If you're it's looking, 902.20. Excuse me? It's 902.20. Okay, it broke. 902 here. Let's see. If, we have a wall here. Let's see if we can snap to 902.20. Where Maki, there we go, Maki. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, this is paying. And now we're green on NVIDIA for the day. Sheesh. Okay. So, first target basically just hit... Um, I love this type of like, type of play on the video. Oh, Tesla just broke out too. Wow, I missed that. Any of the interns catch Tesla instead? So if, if you're going to ask why I took this trade in the first place, I wasn't just playing a high. Um... I was playing the one hour trend break. So I'll show you guys where I was looking on the stream here. Send you guys a screenshot. That is a sick trade on NVIDIA. Am I going to let this play out? I don't know. We'll see. I don't like trading on days where Powell speaking or FOMC is going on. So. You could see me walk away from this trade very soon. Nah, this thing is moving, ready to go. Can we get a blast off here at 903? 903 is the next big um, number here. We'll see if we can get it. Here we go. <laughs> There we go, guys. New stop is 950 cents. Oh my God, 903, first target hit. Let's get to 905. We just broke 903. Did we break 903? We should have, right? Yeah, we did. Um, for, the, for the free members, everybody, this would be a good time to sell half your position if you're still holding. Uh, or unless you want to hold the hold the hold your uh, position with North here, it's still looking good. Oh Just my broke God. yesterday's pre market high. There it goes. That's where I said it. Nine oh four coming in hot, baby. Oh my days! Oh I'm my getting ready goodness. to sell half. The video is wild. Yeah, where is the guy that said it was a 14-day lucky streak, they said? They always kind of go ghost when you start winning. It's like a it's like a uh, consistent thing around the internet. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here um, very soon. I still I like it, most. but what did you say, Maki? I sold most of it, just in case it doesn't hold 902.20. Yeah, exactly. So if you can't afford to hold, do not hold. It's kind of the thing here. But if we don't start pushing here, I'm going to wrap it up. Call it a day. So this time when we played NVIDIA, it was a full position rather than a half position. So you guys see how half positions and scaling in and scaling out works, right? When If the trade doesn't go your way, then, you know, it's fine. But when it does go your way and you're able to scale the right way, the full move is all yours. And then you make up for your losses plus a lot sum. So you guys are watching the stream and kind of understand that as I'm explaining that. 
Now, even on a day like this where Powell speaking, even if you took the L and didn't get a green trade, like I was willing to walk away, then it was whatever. You know, that that's that's part of the game. I'm okay with taking an L. I don't promote making green trades every day. That's not something I care about. My goal as a trader is to preserve as much capital as possible. Meaning, if I'm going to be red, I want to be the least amount of red as possible. We got the pullback. They bought the hell out of it. Yeah, it's whatever. Let's see. You're going to be able to tell if they can get a candle to close above 903. If we get it back above 903, I would consider adding another position. But since Powell's speaking today, I'm probably not going to do that. But if it wasn't Powell day, I promise you I would take an, another position again above 903.50. That's where I would add again. I'm not doing that, though, on a Powell day. There it goes. Oh, it's over. Guys, I'm getting ready to sell half. This is going to be a... If we break through this high with this candle right now, it's over. You're going to see a, a dollar break. If we get that candle. I have an alert set at 902.90. That's where I'm looking to click the sell button. So I'm getting ready here. If we don't hold up, I will get out. I got I sold completely, but that's just me because th that level is not holding. Well. It, it looks strong, but it seems like it wants a breather. Yeah, I mean, I've already told everybody they, they can do whatever. I'm just going to I'm gonna stick to the plan just because I'm in still light overall position. And uh, I'm willing to just hold till uh, my target. If you're in too heavy, guys, you can't hold till target. Like, for example, these pullbacks will scare you. Um, and then you'll see your P&L move. Things like that. So that's kind of the whole point of being sized correctly. Now, can this come back and get rid of me uh, at 900? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. That's the whole point of being able to sell early so you don't get, so you can take your profits. Yeah, it is struggling pretty heavy, guys. Now, now I can see a little bit of struggle, which is not good. Yep, there's the pullback. I have an alert set at 981 cents. That's where I'm going to flatten out and, and be out. 981. 981 stop loss. That's where I'll flatten out.
Oh, wow, guys. That's called sticking to the plan. Look at this. That is a trade. That is how you trade, fam. I'm getting ready to sell half. Oh, my God. That's, I need a candle to go through 904 because this is going to be the nicest bull flag ever. Here we go. Can we break through that? Damn. That would have been so sick right there. That candle would have shot up to 9.05 in one shot. All right, stop loss is still in place. 981, my target is 9.05. Selling half above 9.04. So we know all my targets. We know my stop losses. There's no need to not know here. Market's pulling back. Oh, NQ hasn't pulled back. Okay. That's where it's a little scary. Video is holding the key level now. Yeah, the problem is NQ is flat here. So if this does end up having a red candle, I think and uh, I think Nvidia is going to come down pretty quick. I have my finger on the flatten button, so I have a lot of room. If I see a drop, I'll sell before uh, my stop. So I'm not I'm not scared. Giving it maybe two more minutes, guys. Three more minutes. If we don't break out, regardless of where it's at, I'm going to get out, even if it doesn't touch my stop. Also, if we break high of day and we don't continue on a quick pace, I'm completely out. So if we break through here and we don't go straight up to 905, and we start, you know, getting stuck in this 904, 904, 50 area, I'm out. I don't want to see any hesitation. So there are multiple things I'm looking at here. Just be prepared. I might just pull the trigger on flattening this trade. Just keep in mind, that's what I'm looking at. Starting to hold that 20 cent low, 902.20. We haven't closed it in the last four minutes. I have trust issues, so that means nothing for me. Stop loss is 980 <laughs> cents. I set an alert at 80, 981. As soon as I see that go off, See my bid get close there. I'm flattening the trade. This is my last trade of the day. All right, we're about to hit my stop soon, guys. I have my finger on the trigger. If we don't get bought up here, I'm out. And your boy's gone. And your boy's gone. The, the chat ate regardless. That trade was sick. Most people, even my buddy right here, he, he took a small loss on the first one. 
and uh and he made everything back on the second one so like the trade was still fire from from, from it yeah and that's when you are and you mentioned everybody for them to uh scale out and you know what i mean so the trade was still too, still good yeah it was nice but all right that's it for me yeah i'm gonna wrap that it up be, that'd be good be smart there's a free lesson tonight for all the free members. If y'all want to see how some of us uh, chart, Keith is really good at explaining all that. Uh, free day to day. Take advantage. Take full advantage. We're always trying to learn something new. Maybe there's a different way for you to learn how to chart. So Keith will be here for that. And uh, y'all be good. Peace out, George. What are you using to see the big orders comes in? It come in times and sales uh, level two. We got Powell speaking at two, right? Yes. Twelve thirty. I don't know. Baki said yes. Oh, 12.30. No, Destiny. So what happened with you on the last FOMC is you you were playing something while the news was coming out. But he only speaks 30 minutes after the FOMC. Today, it's not FOMC. It's just Powell speaking, I believe. Yeah, it's at twelve thirty. That's actually pretty close. Twelve ten or twelve thirty. Why does everybody say a different time? This is bad. Now I have to go and get it from the source itself. The source says twelve ten. Yep, twelve ten. Let's just throw whatever out there, huh? 1230, 5 o'clock, <laughs> 7 o'clock. Make sure um, if you're in the stream, come to the lesson tonight uh, in the Discord. It's free, obviously. You get to ask as many questions as you want. We're doing charting. All that good stuff. And if you're on the stream, make sure you're here every day. Uh, yeah, I will be at the lesson. So make sure you're here every day for the streams. Today you had zero delay, which is uh, a definitely a bonus. We've been on a 14-day win streak. Um, today I took the first uh, losing trade with the chat. Um, so that cut the streak, sadly. But it's not about streaks. The streaks come, they go. It's fine. Um, and then, yeah, uh, we ended up getting that. I, I gave the green trade of NVIDIA to the chat. So did the green trade make up for that red trade for them? Yeah. 
Um, but it still counts as breaking the 14-day win streak. So we're back at Elo. It's always a new week, new day. YB said I took a fat L today. How, fam? The Discord... Different day on free members day. Tesla's still kind of grinding higher. Um, NVIDIA. Wait, how did that guy say he took an L? Not sure. Unless he did, like, he didn't do half size, full port, something like that. Yo, what number was that from? Text. Don't say it in the chat. <laughs> Text it to me. I DM'd you, um, Dior. So Alex, first trade for you is 9% on meta, second trade minus 14%. 13.9, third trade, plus 16.6. How are you planning to do the zero dollar challenge? You'll find out April 15th. There was some thinking about it. If 
five twenty ninety. The only problem is this thing is like grinding now. It's so slow. I'm just gonna skip. The video is stuck at 901.40. Someone said SMCI will go up to a thousand. It's three dollars away from a thousand, so. It's not a big deal. I don't think you'd even make any money if it went up to a thousand from here. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize. I said, uh, what did I say? Yeah, I mean, it's $3 away from 1000 so it's right there. Small account challenge, like it's different from how you... This isn't just a small account challenge. It's, it's starting from zero dollars. Like, zero dollars. You can't trade with zero dollars, so what do you have to do? I'll let your imagination come to conclusion. Um, am I red today? Yeah. Yes, I am.
All right, it's getting pretty late. I'm going to wrap up the stream here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe on whatever channel you're watching on. Um, and uh, we do this every single day. And then tonight we'll be hosting a lesson in the Discord at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 100% free. Uh, the link. I don't even know if I can send the link, actually. I don't know. Let's see. I'm sure you can find a link somewhere.